everyone, this is me Anam and you are watching Biology Nexus. So let's go towards the topic. Today we are going to discuss about the biological classification as you can see on the board. So firstly, uh, before going towards the topic, you have to know about the idea of a classification, what actually classification is. Classification you can de define as the division of a different things into different groups and categories. We can say that the systematic arrangement of different things. But when we talk about the biological classification, we actually mean the living organism classification because bio means life. And when we talk about the life, it's mean the living organism. So the biological classification is actually the classification of the living organism. Because there's so much diversity are present on the earth, we cannot study all the organism according to their properties and characteristics randomly. So we have to be classified that organism into different groups and categories according to their properties as well as characteristics. So there are so many scientists who attempt their work in biological classification and we discuss today all of them. The first one we have Aristotle. Aristotle is also known as the father of biology and according to him he gave the idea of two kingdom system. According to Aristotle all the living organism that present on the earth are divided into two kingdom and that is one we have plant and the other one we have animal or we can also say that kingdom planty and animalia so according to aristotle there are two kingdom all the living organism that present on the earth are present in two kingdom system kingdom planty and kingdom animalia now kingdom planty actually all the trees herbs Shrubs are present in kingdom plant and while the kingdom animalia or kingdom animal it include animal with RBC RBC means red blood cell and animal without RBC According to Aristotle, he gave the idea of a two kingdom system and according to him, all the living organism are divided into plant and animal. In plant, it include trees and herbs and shrubs, while the animal kingdom, it include the animal with RBC and the animal without RBC. Now the question is, what about the other organisms? Because there are so many other organisms that are present on the earth. So the question is, what about the other organisms? There are so many other organisms are present on the earth. There is uh, there so many viruses, bacteria and other living organisms like this microorganism, macroorganism. What about all of them? They are not fitting in this two kingdom system. So that's the reason, that's why this kingdom system didn't work very well. After that, the second scientist we have, the Collis Linnaeus. Collis Linnaeus. Collis Linnaeus is also known as the father of taxonomy. As we discussed earlier, the Aristotle known as the father of biology, while the Collis Linnaeus is known as the father of taxonomy. According to him, he gave the same idea about the two kingdom system. He said there are two kingdom, the one is planty and other is animalia, and all the trees. Herbs, shrubs are included into kingdom planty, while the all animals with RBC and without RBC are included in kingdom animalia. So the question is still same, the story is same. What about the other organism? Like if we talk about the photosynthetic organism, photosynthetic organism, or non-photosynthetic organism. 
What about that? Okay, if we talk about the eukaryotic, eukaryotes and prokaryotes, what about that organism? For a synthetic organism, are actually those organisms who can prepare their food in the presence of sunlight. While the non photosynthetic organisms are those organisms who cannot prepare their food in the presence of sunlight. While eukaryotes and prokaryotes, eukaryotes we can define as they have a well defined nucleus, while prokaryotes they do not have a well defined nucleus. This is the difference between both of them. In the same way, we have unicellular and multicellular. Organism. Unicellular organism that consists of a single cell as uni mean one, while the multicellular organism are consist of more than one or two cells. So what about that organism? This four synthetic organism, this eukaryotes, prokaryotes, cellular, unicellular, multicellular, they have no space in two kingdom system. So that is the reason these kingdom system, two kingdom system that idea given by Aristotle, that idea given by Collis Linnaeus, didn't work well so after that we have the third scientist named Ernst Mayer Ernst Mayer gave his idea in 1866 now according to him all the living organisms are divided into three kingdom system he actually gave the idea about the Three kingdom. Three kingdom. According to him, all the living organisms are divided into kingdom. Plant. Kingdom. Animal or we can say animalia. And the third one and the new one kingdom he actually introduced is protista. Now, According to him, all the living organisms are present in three kingdom system in kingdom plant, animal and protista. Kingdom plant include herbs, shrubs and trees while the animal include the animal with RBC and without RBC. The third one kingdom are actually having the single cell eukaryotes. This is the new thing he actually introduced. Single cell eukaryotes so the story is still same what about the other organism that present on this era on the lake on this earth there are so many prokaryotes there are so many bacteria there are so many viruses they are not fitted in this three kingdom system actually Answerer is also known as the Darwin of 20th century. Darwin of 20th century. He actually gave the idea of a species. According to him, species, this idea is given by the Answerer and according to him, Species are those living organisms or the group, group of those, those living organisms who can interbreed with each other, who can mate with each other and produce offspring. So this idea is given by Ernst Mayer. But all the living organisms that are not included uh, in this three kingdom system are still there. So this is the reason this three kingdom system didn't work very well and after that the fourth scientist we have Copland Copland he gave his idea in 1956 I guess and according to him there are four kingdom system Anstrier gave the idea about the three kingdom system and the Copland gave the idea about the Four kingdom classification. Four kingdom. Now, kingdom plant or planty we can say, kingdom animal or animalia we can say, kingdom protista. And the fourth one he introduced Monero. Now, according to him, 
all the single cell prokaryotes single cell prokaryotes include in kingdom monera they are actually bacteria in kingdom protista all the single cell eukaryotes while in kingdom monera all the single cell uh, single cell prokaryote mean bacteria are present but this is not the modified system some organism still left so we have to be fitted all that organism in the other kingdom so after then the unsmear after the copeland after the aristotle and collis nenius we have the fifth scientist who is a uh, gave the idea of, of about the five kingdom classification system and he was R. H. Whittaker. Okay, the last one we have R. H. Whittaker who gave the idea about the five kingdom classification system. The fifth one and the last one scientists we have R. H. Whittaker. He gave the idea in uh, 1969 now, according to him, all the living organisms that are present on the earth are divided into five kingdom classification system. He gave the he gave idea about the five kingdom, and that kingdoms are plant, animal, protista. Monera and the fifth one, Fungi. Now, this uh, idea was given by R. H. Whitaker, who gave the five kingdom classification system, and uh, according to whom, uh, him, there are total five kingdom, and that is actually the most modified uh, modified system which we uh, use today. And actually, the most important question that is mostly asked in the examination. What are the basis of that five kingdoms system? So we discuss these basis. The first one we have cell structure. Cell structure means what is the cell structure or cell wall structure uh, of that organisms? And the second one we have thallus organization. Thallus organization mean those particular organisms have body differentiated or not and the third one we have mode of nutrition mode of nutrition mean either those organisms having the autotrophic or heterotrophic autotrophic mean they can prepare their own food while the heterotrophic they cannot prepare their own food the fourth one we have mode of reproduction Mood of reproduction, what is meant by that, either they all, all that organism produce sexually or asexually. And the last one we have evolutionary, or we can also say phylogenetic relationship. This is this term about the same mostly. Relationship. What is meant by that evolutionary phylogenetic relationship mean what was the change in those organisms over the thousand of year, over the hundred of years? So this is actually the most important question that mostly asked in the examination. What is the basis of five kingdom classification system? So these points, these are some points, I guess it's total five points. These are the basis of five kingdom classification system that idea given by R. H. Whittaker and nowadays this system is actually used, we used and this is most modified system. So we have to, uh, we have to discuss this uh, modified system in, in our next video and I'll try my level best to deliver it. So our next video uh, that will uh, depend upon this uh, five kingdom classification system if you like this video so please uh, press the like button and also subscribe my channel and also share this video 
and uh, of course if you want to give any suggestion that if you recommend any topic you want to learn please uh, feedback and also do the comments so that i can follow all your comments and feedback and i'll try my level best to follow your suggestion thank you so much for watching this video hope so you like it and we'll meet in the next video with the new topic that will be five kingdom classification system in detail thank you so much take care